OpenAI just launched ChatGPT Atlas, their brand new AI-powered browser, and everyone's wondering how it stacks up against Perplexity's Comet. Both browsers promise to revolutionize how we use the internet with AI baked right into the core experience. But which one actually delivers? In this ChatGPT Atlas versus Perplexity Comet video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know to decide which AI browser deserves a spot on your computer. Before we dive in, if you want to try Comet yourself, use my special link in the description. When you download Comet through that link and make your first search, you'll get Perplexity Pro worth $20 absolutely free. That's a huge bonus that unlocks advanced features. Let's start with what both browsers have in common. Atlas and Comet are both built around the idea that your browser should understand what you're trying to do, not just display web pages. They both integrate AI assistance directly into your browsing experience. They both offer conversational search instead of just keyword matching, and they both promise agent capabilities where the AI can actually control your browser and complete tasks for you. On paper, they sound pretty similar, but the devil is in the details, and that's where these two browsers diverge significantly. The first thing you'll notice is the interface. When you open Atlas, you get a clean home screen with a search bar front and center, your chat history on the left sidebar, and personalized suggestions below based on your browsing habits. It feels very much like ChatGPT, but expanded into a full browser experience. Everything is minimalist and focused on that central search and chat interface. Comet takes a different approach. The home screen is also minimal with a dark theme by default, but it includes useful widgets right on the homepage. You've got a clock, weather updates, stock trackers, and quick access to AI tools. It feels more customizable right from the start. You can add sticky notes, games, or other widgets depending on what you need. Some people love this flexibility, while others prefer Atlas's cleaner, more focused approach. Both browsers support Chrome extensions since they're built on Chromium, which is fantastic. You won't lose your favorite tools when switching to either one. The installation process for extensions is identical to Chrome, so there's basically no learning curve. Now let's talk about search, because this is where things get interesting. In Atlas, when you search for something, you get an AI-generated answer with citations, and you can switch between tabs for traditional web results, images, videos, or news. It's powered by ChatGPT's search capabilities, and honestly, the answers are really good. The responses are detailed, well-cited, and conversational. Comet gives you more flexibility with search. You can choose between Perplexity's AI search and traditional Google search right from the address bar. When you use Perplexity Search, you get website results first, then AI summaries at the bottom with citations. If you prefer Google's classic results, just click Search Google and you've got those too. So with Comet, you're literally getting the best of both worlds integrated seamlessly. The AI models available also differ significantly. Atlas uses ChatGPT exclusively, which makes sense since it's built by OpenAI. You get access to whatever ChatGPT model your subscription includes. Comet, on the other hand, lets you choose from multiple models, including GPT-4, Claude Sonnet, Grok, and Gemini. This flexibility is huge if you want to pick the best model for different tasks. One feature both browsers share is the ability to have AI assistance on any web page through a side panel. In Atlas, you click the Ask ChatGPT button in the corner and a companion panel slides in. You can ask questions about the page, request summaries, or get help understanding complex content. It stays with you as you browse, maintaining context across different sites. Atlas has some of these features, but Comet's implementation feels more mature and polished. The agent capabilities are where both browsers get really exciting, but also where they differ most. Atlas's agent mode is impressive. You can ask it to complete multi-step tasks, like creating linear issues from a Google Doc or shopping for groceries on Instacart. You watch a cursor appear on screen as ChatGPT clicks around and completes tasks. It's transparent, you can stop at any time, and you approve before it takes action. The execution is smooth when it works. But here's the thing. I've tested both extensively, and Comet's agent capabilities are simply more robust right now. Comet can handle everything Atlas does, plus more. It can automatically find and apply coupon codes at checkout, compare products across multiple tabs and create detailed comparison tables, plan entire travel itineraries by searching flights and hotels across different sites, fill out forms automatically by reading data from uploaded documents, manage your Gmail and calendar by summarizing, responding to, or deleting emails, and clean up your workspace by grouping or closing tabs based on your commands. I've made a separate video showing 11 insane use cases for Comet AI browser, which is linked in the description. The range of tasks Comet can handle is genuinely impressive, and in my testing, it's more reliable and faster than Atlas's agent mode. 
There's also the voice assistant feature. Atlas doesn't currently have hands-free voice control. Comet does, and it's fantastic. You can literally speak commands and Comet handles it instantly. For people who prefer talking over typing or who are multitasking, this is a game changer. Performance-wise, both browsers are fast and responsive, Atlas feels polished for a brand new product, and Comet has had time to optimize and refine its experience. Neither one is going to frustrate you with lag or crashes in normal use. Now let's talk about availability and pricing. Atlas just launched for Mac users only, with Windows and mobile versions coming later. It's free for all ChatGPT users, but Agent Mode requires a Plus or Pro subscription. Comet is available across platforms right now, including Mac and Windows, with mobile coming soon. Most features are free, and Agent Mode also doesn't require any subscription, but some advanced automation and AI capabilities are limited on the free plan. Here's my honest recommendation after extensive testing. If you're deeply invested in the ChatGPT ecosystem and you have a Mac, Atlas is worth trying. It's a solid first effort from OpenAI, and it integrates ChatGPT beautifully into the browsing experience. But if you want the most capable, polished AI browser available today, Comet is the clear winner. The interface is better, the performance is smoother, the agent capabilities are more robust, and the feature set is more complete. Now, we can't ignore the big player here. Google Chrome is rapidly adding AI features too, with Gemini integration and agent capabilities already live for US users. Once these roll out globally, Chrome will combine AI power with its massive ecosystem, making it tough for smaller browsers to compete. Atlas and Comet need to keep innovating if they want to stay relevant in this race. Privacy is another important consideration. Atlas relies on subscriptions rather than ads, which is reassuring, though browser memory does track your activity unless you disable it. Comet connects deeply with your Gmail and calendar, which increases potential security risks. Both browsers require significant trust since you're giving AI access to sensitive data. Use incognito mode for anything private and think carefully about what you're comfortable sharing. Both browsers are amazing for what they are, but for anyone planning to switch from Google Chrome or Edge, Comet is the better bet. It does everything Atlas promises, but executes it better across the board. The ability to choose between different AI models, the flexibility with search engines, the voice assistant, and the sheer range of automation tasks it can handle make it the superior choice right now. Atlas has potential, and OpenAI will likely improve it over time. But right now, today, if you're looking for an AI browser that will actually make you more productive, Comet is the one to get. Download it using my link in the description, make your first search, and claim that free Perplexity Pro upgrade. You won't regret it. If you found this comparison helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more AI tool reviews and comparisons. The browser wars are just getting started, and this is an exciting time to be watching this space evolve. If you want to watch the video on 11 insane use cases for Comet AI browser, just click on the video appearing on your screen.